my friends, we have got the top 25 list for the month of April here, and I got my man, The Senate, here with us. What's going on? Hey, guys. You're going to be joining me for a couple videos here. Yeah, it's, uh, we've got some free time. Turns out, uh, I graduated from college, so, uh... W in the chat for Senate no graduate. Responsibilities. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but for the time being, I've got a little bit of a little bit of wiggle room to put some videos together. So right on, right on. So we're gonna break down the top twenty-five here for you, ladies and gentlemen. Starting with number twenty-five, Mother Towson. She's down two spots this month. Emperor Palpatine actually went up one spot from last month's list. He is at number twenty-four. Asajj is at twenty-three. Jolie at twenty-two. R two D two fell three spots. He's at number. 21 now. Bosk plummeted four spots. He is down to 20. BBA is also down four spots down to 19. And R and um, Nest is down four spots um, at 18. HK47 did climb three spots in at number 17. And then General Kenobi in at number 16. Now we can't break down every single individual character on this portion, but Senate, what when you look at this, what stands out to you? I'm going to point out two things that I noticed. First of all, Joe Lee is way too low. That's that's my opinion. As much as I hate that guy, and as much as everybody hates that guy, Revan is not nearly as good without Joe Lee. I feel like he is underappreciated strictly because everybody is so tired of him. Right. And that's how I am too. I hate the guy. Yeah. But he's really, really good still. Um, so yeah, to me, Jolie is what takes the Revan team from a really powerful team to just a super annoying, great defensive team. And part of me would say maybe the reason why you're seeing him drop a bit here is because obviously Darth Revan, Darth Malak, they're kind of running the meta right now. Yeah. But even when Jedi Revan was in the meta, Jolie was still hovering uh, down in the 20s. I mean, the best example is like January, for example, he was in at number 19. That was two months before Revan came out. And he's, I mean, the highest he's been this year was uh, rank 18. And so to me, kind of a kingpin of that team. I, I would agree. I think Jolie has consistently been underrated. Now with the new meta, with the new meta we got now, maybe he's more in line. I can maybe yeah. get behind it more, but I, I think that's a good call out. He's just, he's not as flashy. Um, you know, he's kind of a boring, boring No guy, DPS. But, yeah. And then... Yeah. But de right. defense goes a long way. De de defense is super important in this game. Yeah. So... Anyways. So the other one is going to be HK47. I feel like right. HK47, it's good that he's he's making his way closer up to the top, but he's sure. kind of in the same boat as, as Joe Lee. He's, yeah. he's an integral part to that new, you know, triumvirate, so to speak, with Darth Revan and, and Badstilla, and so... Badstilla. Woo! He really, I mean, his, <laughs> his AoE can completely nuke a Jedi Knight Revan team. Yeah, it's true. In one shot, and so it's, I feel like he should be higher up, and I, I don't know, I don't know why he's so low either, but... Now, an honorable mention that we're actually not seeing in the top 25, I just want to call out. Usually I don't talk about below uh, 25 because we receive votes, we tally them up, and technically we can go all the way down to like 50 or, or beyond. Uh, but Anakin is in at number 26. And Anakin, I think, is really solid and potentially about to get a lot more solid. We CG has hinted with a, a Zeta potentially coming for Anakin. He's gonna have some pretty sweet synergy with Padme Amidala, I'm gonna hope, guess. Um, and so to me, Anakin at number 26, I think maybe one of the bigger reasons he showed up at 26 is a lot of people thought he was going to get a nerf. Um, and so I think that the, the pollsters were maybe hesitant to give him much love because yeah, yeah he's performing now, but he's probably gonna get nerfed. But then to, I mean, my surprise at least, looks like CG is not going to nerf him. So I think that's great. All right, let's break down the next part of the list. We've got 15 through 11 in Senate. Why don't you introduce this to us? All right, so at 15, we've got Bastila Lightside coming in. She jumped up four spots. That's pretty impressive. And then 14, we're going to have Scion, <laughs> who dropped one, along with Nihilus right above him. Those kind of butt buddies there, they're just <laughs> hanging out together. <laughs> they're they're kind of like the old Chirrut and Bays, right? They're like, always and Bays right were next always to each together. other. Yeah. <laughs> Every month, they're right next to each other. They got a little bromance kinda, going on. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 just, they're, Sith just, they're just bros, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, and then... 12, we're going to have Han Solo, who also dropped two spots, and then 3PO dropped two spots as well. Um, I think Bastila is the most notable of all of this. Super notable. I mean, she the meta shifted away from her, and she climbed four spots on this list. The, yeah. the only thing I can think of that, you know, when we were talking about this before, you pointed out, is she did get what Capital Games would call a tune-up, 
where she, you know, had some increased synergy with uh, Jedi Revan and and herself. Uh, but to me, I, I'm this is one of the more perplexing changes I've seen in in several months now because to me, I, it just doesn't make sense to give that much more love to a, a, a light side character. I mean, the, the farthest anybody moved on this list was five spots. So this is about as far as you go. And we'll, we'll talk about the one who moved five actually up spots here in a little bit. But to me, it's a bit perplexing. Other than that, I think everything pretty much makes sense. I mean, it's a shift of one, a shift of two. And we've got a new character here. Spoiler alert, Malik is going to be above these characters. And whenever you add a new character, you see a lot of people shift down one or two ranks just to make room for the new character. That's exactly it. And so, yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say about that. Very well said. All right, breaking down numbers 10 through six. Number 10, we've got Ray Jedi training. She's down three spots. This is the lowest I've personally seen her on this list. Number nine is going to be Chewbacca, who is also down three spots. Treya dropped three spots. She's in at number eight. Yoda comes in at number seven. A bit perplexing on Yoda too, because Yoda went up a spot and, you know, again, Meta change against Yoda, <laughs> and he's moving up a spot. And then finally, the most notable jump on the list is Bastila Fallen, who climbed five spots. Does that move make sense to you? <laughs> I, I don't know. I think it makes sense. It, yeah. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say about that. She's just, she's really good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's tough to put her at the top because she doesn't work. You know, she's not like a plug and play too, and you can't just throw her in by herself you know she has to have the synergy around her so i think it makes sense she's not like in the top five well and that's how a lot of these characters are but, even in the top five but i think yeah. to, to me whoever has basila fallen go first in the battle has a huge advantage because of all of yeah. those debuffs that are going to get slung out against everyone the fear yeah. and everything and so i i think basila fallen last month she was at number 11, I think we realized it, but that meta was still fresh, we were still figuring it out, and now that the meta's kind of settling in, I think people are realizing, you know what, Bastille Fallen is a vital piece of this meta. All right, finally we got the top five, and the biggest question I have, um, well, I actually already know the answer, but the biggest question I had going into this you is, have. will Darth Revan unseat Jedi Revan uh, for the stronghold he has had at the number one spot? Last month, even though Darth Revan was released, Darth Revan only claimed the second spot on the list. And where will Malak fit? Is he in the top five? Yeah, he's in the top five. He's definitely in the top five. We'll see where. Number five, Commander Luke Skywalker. He is down from rank three last month. Thrawn is the only character on this list that stayed in the exact same spot. And that is at number four. Darth Malak did make it all the way up to rank three in his first month. This is one of the highest First time placements for a new character in the history of this poll. Darth Revan and Jedi Revan being the other notables. Darth Revan came in at number two his first time and Jedi Revan went straight to number one. Jedi Revan is number two, which means Darth Revan did claim the number one spot. Wow. Begun the Old Republic Sith meta has. Yeah, I think that Darth Revan is at number one. I mean, probably because of Malik. Yeah. You know, I mean, because why wasn't, what was missing for him to be number one last month? It was just that extra, that extra piece that everybody kind of knew was coming. You know, everybody yeah. knew that there was another, we had the triumvirate, we had the, you know, we had HK, Batstola, and, yeah. and, uh, and Sith Trooper, Darth Revan, whoever you want to throw in there, Marauder, Sith Assassin, Rip. Um, <laughs> May she rest and then it's like, okay, now they got Malak. Okay, now yeah. he's really good. So... And yeah, I, I, think a, I think a lot of people um, last month, because in my opinion, I thought Darth Revan was the best character in the game last month. But something, a point yeah. that a lot of my pollsters made to me that kind of resonated with me was that Darth Revan needed Palpatine. He needed this old meta to be as, as solid as he could be. And he was really OP with Palpatine. Um, you know, very solid, but now he's able to shine the way he's intended to with his leader ability and Malak, you know, is kind of completes and rounds out that team, enables you to run the full Sith Empire so you can take advantage of that plus 40% critical damage. And so to me, Darth Revan, definitely the number one character in the game. And now I'm just gonna turn my focus to Clone Wars because I don't know about you guys, I'm sick and tired of old Republic medals. <laughs> It is. It has literally been the last time we had a non-Old Republic character as the number one character in our game. It has been all the way since September 2000 and um, let's see, September 2018. 
and that was just two months of Thrawn. And then before that, we had Treya and Thrawn battling for the top spot. And so really without, you know, before Treya, we're looking at clear back in like February, March last year before, where we didn't have Old Republic metas. And so let's go. It's been a long time. And I mean, I, as somebody that did, that, that played the Old Republic games, but also loves the other eras of Star Wars. I think yeah. it's about time we have the Clone I mean, the Clone Wars has really kind of just been a joke in the game, you know, especially <laughs> yeah. Galactic Republic Jedi, like Eeth Koth. Yeah. I mean, just go, just do yourself a favor. Look at that guy's kit. <laughs> and then look at Kit Fisto while you're at it. <laughs> Dude, Kit Fisto. <laughs> Kit Fisto. That, that guy should be so much better. And it's Maze. A joke. And so, Rip Maze. Rip Maze. Yeah, so I, I really hope that those tunes can start to actually become usable, you know? So I think that I think that it's I think it's arriving. All right, everyone, tell me what you thought about the top 25 list for the month of April. Put it down in the comments below. What is your list? If you were to rank this and submit a poll of your own, who would you have as the number one character on down to 25? I would love to hear from you. Said it. Thanks for joining me for the video. You're actually you're going to be going off to Europe here soon, so we're not going to be doing tons of videos right now. But eventually, here in like a month or so, you're going to be living here. Yeah, that's correct. I'm pretty much as, essentially I moved down here, but three days from now I'm going to England for a couple weeks. So I'm going to be in Florida. No big deal. Just just kind of celebrating the fact that I'm done with school, and then <laughs> then I'll get back to real life. You know, start to do some job interviews, and and uh, you know I'll settle down. And I'll be here for more videos. So sweet. Be awesome. Love, love having you. Thanks again for joining me for the video, my friends. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, my brothers, don't forget. <laughs> Nailed it. My dead body. Sorry about the mess.